Alright, we now move on to a new topic called three phase induction model. Now, the model that previously they have learned are the DC models. But today, this one is the AC model and it is on three phase AC uh, power supply. Now, uh, what is the difference between induction model? Induction model is a more powerful model, and a lot of industrial applications are actually using the induction model. Those heavy industry, uh, heavy industry, where you need to do a lot of uh, heavy work, and an induction model are usually being employed. Now, what is the working principle behind induction model? Now, we will look. The, the construction of an induction model consists of a stator and a rotor, right? Stator, as the name suggests to you, it stays stationary, doesn't move. Rotor is the one that moves, okay? Now, we supply a three-phase AC power supply to the stator, and AC is actually a sine wave, sine wave, right? And it has three-phase, three-phase, right? Three-phase. Three-phase AC power supply, uh, pulsating, alternating current is going through, and this data is being magnetized, magnetized. So the magnetic flux is being generated. Magnetic flux is being generated, and it travels around the data. It travels around the data. Okay, and this speed of the magnetic flux that is traveling around is called the synchronous speed. Synchronous speed. So synchronous speed is the speed of the magnetic flux. Speed of the magnetic flux. Now this pulsating magnetic flux, right, will react with our rotor. Rotor is again is a bundle of conductors, and this pulsating magnetic flux, moving magnetic flux, cutting the rotor, the conductor, and therefore a voltage is induced in your, in the uh, rotor. Voltage is induced in the rotor, and when voltage is induced in the rotor, there is a current flowing in the rotor. So therefore, current carrying conductor in the rotor react with the magnetic field will then make the motor move, make the rotor move. At the speed of the rotor, we call it the rotor speed or the motor speed. Alright? And the synchronous speed, that is the speed of the magnetic flux, and the speed of the rotor, they are very close to one another. This one resulted in the motor moving. They are rather close. The difference is measured by the, the uh, ratio called slit. Slit. Right? Sounds a little bit abstract, isn't it? Let's go through one more round. What is the working principle of a three-phase induction model? It can, three phase induction model consists of a stator and a rotor. A rotor. So I have this three-phase AC power supply that's applied to the stator. So I have this alternating current that's flowing through. And with that it generates this magnetic flux, pulsating magnetic flux that's traveling through the stator. Right? And of course, it's through the air, it cuts the rotor as well. Yeah, the magnetic flux will reach the rotor. And this moving magnetic flux, the speed of this moving magnetic flux is called synchronous speed. Okay? And the moving magnetic flux cuts the conductor in the rotor, and voltage is induced in the rotor, and therefore current is flowing in the rotor. And current carrying conductor react with the magnetic flux. Law of electromagnetism will make the rotor turn. And the speed of the rotor we call it the rotor speed or the motor speed. Okay? And slip is the ratio to measure the difference between the synchronous speed and the rotor speed. Okay, so much about this theory of it working. Let's calculate, do some calculation on this synchronous speed. Now, synchronous speed is governed by this formula 120 F divided by P. F is the frequency of the power supply and often in Singapore is 50 Hz. Alright, and P is the number of poles, number of poles in the status. Alright, so say for example it's a four pole machine and it is four. Alright, so example if this is a four pole induction motor, alright, and operating on 50 Hz. Then the NS, the synchronous speed is 120 multiplied 50 divided by 4. And 4, so that is 30, so that is equal to 1500 RPM. So that is the synchronous speed. Synchronous speed. Okay? And if I were to tell you that the, the motor now runs at 1480 RPM. 
right? So that's called the roto speed. Then the slit, slit is equal to ns minus nr divided by ns, right? The difference between the synchronous speed and the roto speed. Right, so it's one five zero zero minus one four eight zero divided by one five zero zero. It is a ratio, so that it has no units. We could express it in terms of percentage or decimal num number. So one five zero zero minus one four eight zero is equal to uh, then divided by one five zero zero. So that is zero point zero one three three. Right, or that is equal to one point three three percent. Okay, so that is synchronous speed. The formula is one hundred twenty f over p. Slip is equal to n s minus n r over n s. Okay, the next formula that I want you all to learn is called n r. N r is equal to one minus s multiplied n s. Right, so in this example here, the slip is 0 0.0133, right? So it's 1 minus 0 0.10133 multiply 1500 and we should get back our 1480 RPM. Right, so three formulas in this uh, introduction of the three phase induction motor. Right, the synchronous speed, slip, and the rotor speed. Formulae. Okay, thank you.